In this video, I'm about to show you how to print money from TikTok by making use of the money glitch that people are calling the TikTok creativity program. And I'm also going to show you how you can do that by using this device here, which you call a phone. Hopefully, I will also be showing you how to get accepted for the TikTok creativity program, even if you're not from the US, UK or any of the countries that are being selected right now. Basically, if you live on planet Earth, then you're going to be able to take advantage of this strategy that you're going to learn today. Today's video is probably one of the most important I've ever made because it has has so much information. So to get started with today's video, I want you to open the text file guide down below. You're going to be taken to Wealth Academy Lite, which is our free community. As you can see, we've got almost 2000 members and I want you to go here on classroom and I want you to look here on the right side and I want you to click here on YouTube video guides. Once you're here, I want you to look for the video that you're watching right now and I want you to open the text guide and I want you to follow along with me. This is going to contain all of the details, resources, links, everything that you're going to need to perform this strategy today. And it's also going to contain a written guide like the one that you're seeing on your screen right now. This video here also has the chapters on the timeline so you can easily navigate throughout the video to the parts that you want to watch. This video might turn out to be a bit long, but it's very necessary. So just like YouTube has its YouTube partner program to incentivize people to get paid to make videos, TikTok now came up with a strategy to pay people to make videos on the TikTok platform, which is called the TikTok creativity program. And I will list right now on the screen the list of countries that are able to participate in the TikTok creativity program. So you can pause the video right now. You can take a screenshot if you want. Like I said, don't worry if you're not from one of those countries. I'm going to show you step by step everything that you have to do to be able to get paid, fill out your tax information without being a native US or UK citizen. But let's go through a few of the requirements first before we get into the nitty gritty information. You must be at least 18 years old. I can't really fix that. You need to have 18 years of age. You must have at least 10,000 followers on your TikTok account, which I'm also going to go through step by step how you can get those. And you also need to have at least 100,000 views on your TikTok account in the past 30 days, which I'm also going to teach you how to get. And all the TikToks that you post must be at least 60 seconds long. If they're less than 60 seconds, they will not participate in the TikTok creativity program. Here's the schedule of how they will pay you. Every 15th of the month, you will receive your payment. So let's say that you make $10,000 or $20,000 this month of March, you will get paid on the 15th of April. So let's say that you're already registered for the TikTok creator fund. For you to be able to switch that into the creativity program, it's very, very easy. Open the TikTok app go to settings, then you want to click on creator tools, then you want to select creator fund, and then you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and then you want to click switch. Basically, that's all you need to do if you're already registered for the creator fund. Step two in this video and this, I'm pretty sure this is what you guys are waiting for. How do you get approved for the creativity program from any country in the world? And this is something that you only find in this channel. To be able to perform this part, at least step two with me, you will need the written guide that's on the description of this video. I highly recommend you open the guide. All the links that you will need will be included in there with PDFs and explanatory step-by-steps that you will need that will not be included in this video. So the first thing you need to do right now, if you already have the TikTok app on your phone, the first thing you need to do is delete it. Go ahead and delete the TikTok app from your phone right now. Just delete the app. After you delete the app, you need to change your phone location. So here's a step-by-step -step guide of how you can do exactly that. If you're using an iPhone, go to settings, click on iCloud, then you want to select media and purchases. Then you want to change the country to United States. After you change the iCloud location, you still need to change the device location. So go to settings again, then you want to click on general, then you want to select language and region. Once you've selected language and region, change the region to United States. And still on the same menu, I highly recommend that you change the language of your phone to US English as well, just to make sure. Now, if you're using an Android, it might be a little bit simpler. And here's how you do it. Go to settings, search on the search bar for country and region, then just select United States and change the language to US English again, just to make sure. Now, the next thing that you're going to need is a VPN. So what you want to do is if you're using an iPhone, you want to go to the App Store and you want to search for free VPN and you just want to look for one of the free VPNs and you can download it that way. If you want a paid version, a paid VPN that I personally use, that's going to be either NordVPN or 
Ultra VPN. The links will be included in the text guide for you as well with the discounts that I have because I'm a partner of those softwares. If you're using an Android, you're going to go to the Play Store and you're going to do exactly the same. You're going to look for a free VPN. You're going to download a free VPN. And both of you, if you're using an iPhone or Android, you're going to change the location to United States. OK, United States. Now, bear in mind that once you have the VPN, you're not going to use you're not going to turn on this VPN once you're posting videos, because this can actually cause issues on your TikTok account. So you're only going to use this VPN when you're going to create the account. And this is very, very important. I want you to pay close attention to what I'm saying. You're only going to have the VPN turned on once you're creating your new TikTok account and downloading the TikTok app. So it's very important that you follow step by step what I'm saying here. Next, you're going to need a US SIM card on your phone so you can be recognized that you're in the United States. How do you get your hands on a US SIM cards? There are two ways that you can do that. The first way, and in my opinion, one of the easiest is you can go to amazon.com and you can buy a T-Mobile SIM card right now for $7.90. And I'll include this link in a text guide for you. And it doesn't matter if you don't live in the US, you can just click here, buy now, and you can put your address in. It will deliver for you in any country in the world, okay? But it's gonna cost you $7.90 plus shipping. The second way that you can get your hands on a US SIM card is by using a company like Aralo. Aralo, I don't know how I say it. The first time that I was exposed to this website was actually doing research for this video. And I saw a video from my friend Dave talking about this website. And I've actually become a partner of this website because it literally is really, really good. And it's the first ever eSIM website that is actually from the United States that you can get very easily. Not all phones are going to support this technology. So if your phone doesn't support eSIMs, you're going to have to buy one from Amazon. But if your phone supports eSIM, then you can literally get one from here and it's instantaneous. Now to get the eSIM, just go to the website using the link in the text guide and you want to click here on United States. And as you can see here, the cheapest plan that you can get is 450. But I believe if you buy using my link, you get it for like $2, if I'm not mistaken. You get a gig of data and it's valid for seven days. OK, you can literally use this SIM card here. Then you just click here and buy now, pay the $2 and you can literally get started. They're going to give you a code to activate this code. Just go to your phone settings. Then you want to click on cellular. Then you want to click on add eSIM. Once you're here, you want to select use QR code and then you can either scan the QR code they're going to give you or you can enter the details manually. If they give you the details, just click enter details manually and then all of this information that you're seeing right now, they will provide it to you and then you can just enter it here, click next and it should be good to go. After you've done that, just select the eSIM as your primary carrier and then you should be good to start doing the next step. So now you have the VPN. You also have your SIM card from the United States. So you have a US phone number inserted to your phone. OK, that's very important. I know it's, it sounds kind of silly for me to say this, but some people will leave the, the SIM card out of the phone. Just have it in your phone. Now I want you to turn off your Bluetooth. It is very important that you turn off the Bluetooth on your device because when you log into TikTok, TikTok literally scans your house and your nearby devices. And if it sees that your devices are not in the US, it might cause you issues when you're creating your account. So just turn off your Bluetooth completely. And now I want you to go to the App Store or Play Store on your device device on your Android device or your iOS device doesn't really matter. I want you to select TikTok and I want you to download the app. Remember, the VPN has to be on in United States. The US SIM card has to be on your phone and the line has to be primary and your Bluetooth has to be turned off. Your also location has to be changed to, to the United States like I showed you before. If you've done all of the previous steps, then you're now ready to download the TikTok app. Once you download the TikTok app with all the previous steps finished, you should see a plus one in the enter your phone number tab in the TikTok app to create a new account. If you see a plus one and the US flag, you're good to go. That means you've done everything correctly. Now, I want you to create a brand new account with the new number that you have and or a new email. It doesn't really matter. Just create a new account and enter your new TikTok account. Just set everything up. After you finish creating your account and setting everything up, there is no need for you to keep the VPN on anymore. You can literally turn the VPN off. All you need to do is just keep the SIM card on your phone whenever you go into TikTok to post new videos. Whenever you want to post a new video, the SIM card from the US has to be active on your phone. OK, and the Bluetooth has to be turned off as well. Now, before we go to step three in this video, if you like to see videos like this, I highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel because I post free videos just like this one every single week. And if you're not subscribed, you will not see the future videos. YouTube will not show them to you. So go ahead and click subscribe right now and let's continue to step three. 
how do you receive payments if you're not from the United States? Firstly, I want you to comment down below which country you're from, just so I know which country you guys come from. And if you've ever had issues getting paid from the TikTok creativity program, or if you couldn't set your tax information on TikTok, if you've ever had any of those issues, let me know down below with the country that you live in. Now, this is probably the part where most of you have been waiting for. I couldn't find this information anywhere online. And whenever I saw someone speaking about this, it was always BS and wrong information. So listen closely to what I'm going to say and be sure to be inside the free community, because if any of this information changes, the only way I can go and make updates to the information is by changing the text in the free community. I literally cannot change a post YouTube video. So if you want updated information, always it will be inside the free community. Now for all of you, 100% of you watching this video, you will either fit in one of these three scenarios that I'm going to name for you right now. Scenario number one, you're from one of the countries that are selected to be a part of the TikTok creativity program. And if that's your case, you're very, very easy to get started. You can literally just go to TikTok right now, go to settings, select the three lines on the top right corner, then select creator tools, then select creativity program beta, and then you want to click on set up payments. Then you will have to insert your name, your country, your tax code, your address, all that information to be able to get started. Currently, the only payment method that TikTok creativity program supports is a PayPal account. So once you've filled out all of your details, just put in your PayPal account and you should be done. If you're signing up as an individual, just enter your social security number. If you're signing up as a business, enter your EIN and you should be completely 100% filled out. Scenario number two, you are not from one of the selected countries to be a part of the creativity program and you're going to sign up as an individual. When I say sign up as an individual is because you can also sign up as a business, but this scenario too is as an individual. So listen up. Now, this is the part where I see a lot of BS information online. I, all I see online is people saying, if you're not a resident in the US, you can't do this, you can't do that. You're all wrong. And I'm going to show you why you're wrong right now. Basically, if you're not a US resident, you're not allowed to have a social security number, which is the US tax number. But you can literally have something that is called a ITIN number, which is also a tax number for foreign residents. The ITIN number, I see people online saying that nobody can get an ITIN number unless you're a resident. That is BS, that is not true. Don't believe anyone that tells you that. The ITIN number is literally created for people that are not US residents to be able to pay tax in the United States. That is literally why it was created for. And anyone around the world can have one. If you don't believe what I'm telling you, you can literally go to the IRS website, do research on this right now. The IRS is the entity that collects tax and deals with the tax information in the United States. If you also go to the Amazon KDP platform, there's a link in the guide. I'll leave it down below. You can check it now. Amazon has a guide for people to apply for US ITIN, as you can see on your screen right now, before applying for a, an ITIN as a non-US resident, you may be eligible for a zero or redu reduced rate of US tax. So they even teach you, they have the form here, how to fill out the information to get an ITIN. And they even have the form here for you to fill. So even Amazon is incentivizing you to get an ITIN so you can be a part of the KDP program. Once you have an ITIN, you can literally be a part of anything. If you want to sign up for Reboot to get free stocks, you can use your ITIN. If you want to invest in the US, you can use your ITIN. If you want to open bank accounts in the US, you can use your ITIN. You can use it for everything. Almost everything that a social security number does, an ITIN number will also allow you to do. Now this that you're seeing on your screen, the link to this form will also be in the text guide below. This is the form that you have to fill out to apply for an ITIN. And I'm going to walk you through how to do this right now. This is literally information that you only fine here. Trust me, no other money making channel on YouTube will show you how to do this. Now, once you're applying for an ITIN, I want you to click here, apply for an ITIN and you want to mark this box. Once you open the link that I provided in the text guide, you're literally going to be able to check and uncheck boxes like I'm doing here right now. So I want you to check this box, apply for a new ITIN right here on the top right corner. Then you want to select that you're a non-resident alien filling out a US federal tax return. You're going to select this option right here because this is the motive. This is the reason why you need the ITIN number, which is to pay taxes in the US. Okay, so you're going to select this here where it says name. I want you to fill out your first name here. 
If you have a middle name, I want you to select your middle name here. If you don't have a middle name, you only have a last name, you can select your last name here. Your applicant's mailing address, here you will fill out your address from the country that you live in. This is important that you fill out a correct address because they will send you back a letter containing your ITIN number. So it's very important that you fill out this correctly. Here where it says foreign non-US address, this is where you're gonna put your address, okay? If you live inside the United States, you're gonna put it in this top one here. If you live outside the United States, it's this one here. Now you're gonna select your birth information this is your date of birth, your country of birth, your city, and if you're male or female. Now they're going to ask you from, for some more other information. What is your country of citizenship? What is your foreign tax ID number? This is like your social security number, but for the country that you live in, just fill out all of this information here. Once they ask you for your identification document, you're going to select passport. You need to have a passport to do this. And you're going to have to go to your local embassy. You will not send them your passport, but you will have to send them a verified certified copy of your passport and the only entity that can give you this certification is your local embassy. So you need to take your passport to a local embassy. They will make a copy of it and they will certify it with a stamp. That certification is what you're going to send to the IRS along with this letter here that you're filling out. Now you want to fill out your passport details here. Have you previously received an ITIN? You're going to select no. If you've never had one, if you if you did have one, just like yes. Now you want to sign here, put the date on, on this top one, this bottom one here, you're going to leave empty. Okay, that's it. That's all you have to do. I'm going to put on the screen as well the address where you have to send the certified copy of your passport and the W7 form, which is applying for the ITIN number. You can literally pause the video here, take a screenshot, write it down, and I will also include it in the text file guide for you. So if you're following along in the free community, you will find the address where you need to send this form to. OK, it will be included there for you. I will also include this link here that you're seeing on your screen right now, which has every single piece of information about what an ITIN number is. And this is directly from the government website. This is, tells you everything, how to apply, what an ITIN number is, how to apply, where to apply, application type, where to send it to. All of the information you could need about an ITIN is here in this form provided by the IRS, the United States tax entity. So it's all in here for you to, if you want to read it. Once you have this ITIN number, you can literally take advantage of all of the things every American can take advantage of. You can open American credit cards. You can open American bank accounts. You can open American LLCs, businesses. You can do anything you want in the United States as long as it's legal. But the problem is by creating an ITIN number, it will literally take around three months for the IRS to get back to you with your ITIN number letter. So if you don't want to wait three months to be able to get your ITIN, which I highly recommend that you do anyway, here is where scenario three comes in. You're not from one of the selected countries that can apply for the TikTok creativity program, but you still want to apply as a business. As a business is much, much faster, but it's going to require a bit of money. So when you're applying for the TikTok creativity program on an EIN, which is the social security number or an ITIN number, but for the business, you can literally get this number very, very fast and TikTok also accepts it. So as you can see here on your screen, I'll put a screenshot on the screen. As you can see, yes, you can use an EIN to apply for the TikTok creativity program if you're an LLC. Basically, an LLC is just a registered business in the United States. It's called a limited liability company. So one of the reasons why even if you get the ITIN, I recommend you going through this route as well, is because you can open an LLC in the US and you can have benefits in the US. What kind of benefits, you might be asking? Well, you can literally pay taxes in the US, which are much cheaper than many countries in the world. You can have business bank accounts in the US. You can have a business credit cards in the US, you can get business loans in the US and a lot of other benefits that you can take advantage of. Now, how exactly can you get an LLC? The best website that I've been using for years, I'd say more than seven years is called Northwest Registered Agent. I don't have any affiliation with this website. This is just the website I personally use and I recommend to all of my personal friends to use. And as you can see here, when you start, you're going to pay them a fee. So when you hit their homepage, I want you to click here, start your LLC. This website here is very easy to do because it will literally guide you through step by step of what you have to do. So you're, go, you're going to go through filling out the information and you're going to go through all of these categories here. Once you hit the last payment, you're just going to pay them and they will do everything for you. They will reach out to you via email with the documents filled out. You won't have to do anything. Basically, all you need to do is just fill out your information here and uh, this company here will do all of the work for you. Once you're finished, they will give you a business address that you can receive letters inside the United States. When you receive those letters, they will scan them and send it to you by email. So once you're here, I want you to select LLC because you're going to be creating an LLC. 
and I want you to select the state which you want to form your business as Wyoming. Okay, Wyoming is one of the last ones here on the list. So as you can see here for a standard company forming, it's going to cost you $148 so far. Click continue. Then you can name your business. What's the name of your business? I want you to click here. Use generic business purpose, physical address. Use their address here. Mailing address. Use the registered agent address as well. Then you can name your company here. Let's say YouTube company LLC. Okay, then you want to click continue. The management type is going to be member managed. Then you want to select here your first name and your last name and address to record with the state is also their registered address. Once you type in your first and last name, click here, add member. Then you want to click continue and you're going to put your first and last name again. Then you want to put the country you live in, your mailing address, the city, state. If you don't live in the US, you can just put anything here and it will change. You won't have to fill out the state anymore. Now, once you come to the account tab, they're going to ask you to create an account with an email and a password, then business entity. This is what you're going to be getting a free 90 day, day trial. I recommend that you just turn this off. You don't need this. Now, optional items. You don't need any of the optional items here. Business domain. You don't need any of this. Basically, the additional items, what you need is they'll file the annual report for you. You need this and you also need a tax ID. OK, so you need this. If you have a social security number or an ITIN number, this will only cost you $50. $50. But if you don't have one, this is going to cost you 200 bucks. So if you don't have one, it's going to cost you $348 all total for you to get a US business with a business EIN number, which is the business tax number. OK, then you want to finish here. You can just click continue and sell it and proceed to payment. And this is all you're going to need. Then you should have a formed business registered in the US and you can do anything you want with it. Now, once you go through the step, either one, two or three in this video, once you're registering your tax information inside the TikTok Creativity program to be able to receive your payments, they will also ask you to fill out the form W9. What is the form W9 and how do you fill it out? The form W9 is very simple here where it says name of entity or individual. If you're filing this as a person, you're going to put your own name here. If you're filing this as a business, you're going to put your business name here where it says number two. OK, if you're filing this as a business, you're also going to select here what your corporation is. If you did it the way that I showed you, your business is going to be an LLC. I just want you to mark it here. After that, just put the address, the city state zip code here. And after you finish typing out your address, you want to put your social security number or your EIN number. If you don't have the social security number, it can be your ITIN number. Like I told you before, you can where it says social security number, just type in your ITIN number. It's going to be the same exact number of numbers. OK, so you can just put your ITIN here. If you have an EIN with a business, you can put it down here. After you've done that, just sign here and put your date here and you should be good to go. Just download the form and upload it to TikTok and you're done. And the last thing that you're going to need to apply for the TikTok creativity program and be able to get paid is a PayPal account. If you don't have a PayPal account, there's literally nothing I can do to help you because TikTok only accepts PayPal accounts right now. And basically all you need to do to register yours is to go into the TikTok settings, go into the creativity program like I showed you before, and then you want to select your uh, payment method, input your PayPal email, and you should be done. You're now registered for the TikTok creativity program and you're now registered to receive payments. Congratulations. Step four, how do you actually reach the requirements, the 10,000 followers? How do you reach all of those requirements to be able to participate in a TikTok creativity program? Well, after all of that lesson about taxes and IRS, let me get a sip of water here really quick. The first thing that you need to do is choose the niche that you're going to be operating in TikTok. So let's say that you choose a niche to be able to make videos about of left handed golfers that live in Wyoming that want to improve their golfing skills. Well, naturally, there's not going to be a lot of people that are interested in that topic. So you're naturally going to get very few views. If you want to get a lot of views, you need to make videos about things that a lot of people are interested in. Here's a list of a few niches that you can start that literally have millions upon millions upon millions of people that will give you the best chances of going viral on the platform. Some of them are meme videos, fun facts, challenges, and funny videos. I've already made videos here about these funny videos in the past about how you can use that on the YouTube Shorts platform as well. Now, if you don't think that any of these niches are really good for you, I really don't want you to pick the wrong niche. I'll give you this resource inside our free community as well that is going to help you find your good niche. So 
all you need to do here is fill out all of this information. So what do you love? What is your mission? What does the world need from you? What is your vocation? What can you be paid for? What is your profession? What are you good at? What is your passion? And here in the middle, after you finish all of these, then you're going to have a niche that actually has people interested in and that you actually like to do and that can actually pay you a certain amount of money that people are actually interested in paying money for that. So this resource here will be included in our free community down below as well. Now, I can already hear some of you giving me excuses, but Reese, I don't have a, a computer. I don't, I can't fill that out. Literally just pick up a piece of paper in your house and I'm going to show you how to do this right now. I know I'm using an iPad, but you can use and do this in a piece of paper. So as you can see, there are one, two, three, four circles in this image, right? You're going to draw four circles like this. I'm not the best drawer in the world, but this is what you need to do. After that, just look in the image on your screen and then fill out uh, the piece of paper. That's all you need to do. When you fill out all the information in the middle should be your niche. And I gave you the most profitable and the most viral niches. I gave you a resource that's literally going to guide you through choosing your own niche. If you don't want to choose any of those niches, if you still after all of this that I've gave you, can't decide which niche to make videos about. I highly recommend that you either make videos about the AI niche, which is a growing niche, or the personal development niche, which is a niche that never slows down. Number two, you need to create videos above 60 seconds. If you don't know what to create videos about, I've literally shown this here on the channel before. Go to YouTube and you want to search for something like funny videos like we've done here on the past. If you're a long time subscriber, you've done this with me many times. Then once you select funny videos, I want you to filter those videos through view count. Now, once you have the view count videos, these videos here literally have 455 million views. What I want you to do is open the videos and I want you to download these videos. To download the videos, just go to Google, YouTube, video downloader and you can download the videos here on Google. Just copy the URL, paste it here and download the video. I want you to cut the video and make them into short form videos above 60 seconds. Just take the best parts of the videos. If you don't know what parts are the best parts, I want you to hover your mouse here on the timeline. As you can see here, probably the best part of this video here is probably the best part. So you can just cut these parts and make them into short videos. And as you can see, they're already proven to get views. Okay. So this should get you to those 10 K followers very, very fast. Another way that you can also do the same thing is to go to Google Trends. Once you're here in Google Trends, you're literally going to see things that people are searching for right now. So you can click here and all of these topics have 20,000 searches just today. This one here, 500,000 searches just today. So take these topics and make videos about them. If you don't know how to do that, I literally have a video here called how to make money with Google news. Go and watch that video. I'll put it on the screen right now. And that video will show you how to take Google trends and make them into YouTube videos or TikTok videos for this matter. There's another way that you can also do this by going to YouTube again, and you want to go to the homepage of YouTube and you want to look for the trending. So if you go to the YouTube homepage and you go here on the left, you're going to see that in the explore tab, there are the trending videos. These videos are trending. So what you can do here is like either Download these videos, make them into TikToks and post them to your TikTok account. Or you can make your own version of these videos and you're sure to get a lot of views because they are trending. OK, so you can see this video here has been posted two days ago, so it's fresh on YouTube and it already has 8.7 million views. It's crazy. And after all of that, if you still don't know about what to make videos about, then go to the TikTok for you page and look through the videos like this one here has 3.4 million likes. I don't even know how many views this video has, but it's probably a lot. Just copy these videos, make your own version of these videos. They are sure to go viral because they've already gone viral on the platform. So you can literally get hundreds of ideas from the For You page on TikTok. Step five, what are the best and most viral niches on TikTok. I'm also going to put a list of those niches on the screen right now so you can stop the video here and you can take a screenshot. It will also be included in a free guide in the link down below. I'm almost tired of saying it, so I won't keep saying it anymore. All of the links and resources that you need are going to be in a free community included down below. So the first niche that I'm going to show you here on TikTok that you can literally make easy videos about is the facts niche. If you open any of these videos here, you're going to see that uh, the top 50 most unique countries and then it has a list of 50 countries. The second video here is going to be the top 50 most enigmatic countries and there's a top 50 enigmatic countries here and you can see that these videos here are getting 100 
thousand views, 150,000 views, 191, 500,000 views, 270, 1.1 million views. These videos here are getting a lot of views. The second niche is going to be the history niche. And this history niche here, for some reason, they've hidden all of those videos, but you can see here they have 15.1 million likes and you can make videos about history facts. This also gets a lot of views. Next niche is the motivation niche, which Vision Vault makes videos about motivational people like David Goggins, Andrew Tate, Grant Cardone, all those famous people that make motivational videos. They're going to make videos about them. And as you can see here, some videos get 3 million views, 1 million views, 400,000 views, 5,000 views, 5,000 views. You can literally get a lot of views with videos that are already made on the internet. You can just cut them up and then you can paste them here. The next one is going to be the Zodiac niche and Zodiac also gets a lot of views. A lot of people believe in this stuff. And if you check this out, review Zodiac, this video here has 5 million views, 3 10 million views, 100,000 views, 40, 60, 30. So it gets a lot of views. And as you can see, it's very easy to make. It's almost like the facts. Basically, all they do is just come here and paste a few facts about each sign. And basically, that's it. The next niche on TikTok is going to be the satisfying niche, which is also a very viral niche right now. As you can see, people make these satisfying videos and they are sure to get a lot of views. The next niche is going to be a put a finger down niche. Uh, my friend Johnny actually made a step by step video on how you can make these videos, which I highly recommend you watch. I'll include the link uh, down below in the text file as well. So he shows you how you can create these videos. And if you want to learn how to create these videos to start a put a finger down niche TikTok account, just go and watch his video. And the next niche that is also highly viral is the funny videos niche, which we already talked about before. Step six, how do you actually go viral? The first thing that you need to make your videos go viral is a very strong hook on your videos. If you don't know what hook to put on your videos, you can literally just go to ChatGPT and ask it to give you a list of hooks that you can use in your videos. So if you go to ChatGPT and you ask it to give you a uh, strong hooks that you can use in your TikToks, it literally gave me a guide on how to create those own hooks for myself, which I think it's better than copy and pasting because it's literally teaching you how to create them from scratch. And when you create them from scratch, uh, you're going to create something unique that people haven't seen before. And I think this gives you the most chances of going viral. So if you want, you can ask it for a list of like, let's say 10 proven hooks, hooks and it's going to give you a list of 10 proven hooks that you can use. One of them is the counterintuitive truth. Why working harder on your content could actually be hurting your growth. The immediate value proposition in 15 seconds, I'll show you how to trick to triple my engagement. These are actually pretty good. So if you don't want to create them yourself, you can just copy and paste these. So the next thing that you need to do to be able to always go viral is to dumb down the language on your videos. What do I mean by dumb down the language? Most of you guys, when you create videos, you're creating words that most people don't even understand. And this hurts your content because if people that are watching your content, they're not going to look up the words that you're telling them on a video just because you want to use complicated words. You need to use simple words that an eight year old and an 80 year old can understand. What do I mean by this? Let me show you a comparison of what you guys are doing and what you should be doing. OK, so here I asked ChatGPT to give me a 500 word email marketing guide in university English level and a, the same guide in a fifth grade English level. Look, before I show you the comparison, the reason why Donald Trump was able to win the election in 2016 against Hillary Clinton is because his message was very easy to understand. And if I ask you, what was Donald Trump's proposition? Anyone knows that if you're from the US, you will know the proposition and it's make America great again, right? What's Hillary Clinton's proposition? Nobody even knows what her proposition is. It's so complicated, no one knows. And to be able to avoid this mistake that she made, you can literally use this trick that I'm teaching you right now. This is something that I always use in my YouTube videos. I use simple language because when I do that, anyone can understand. I also acknowledge that a lot of people that use and watch my videos are not from the United States. They might not be English native speakers, so they might not understand all of the words. So I try to use the most simple words I can so anyone can understand my videos. Okay, so let me read out this one here for you really quick. In today's rapidly evolving digital landscape, email marketing has emerged as a quintessential tool for business uh, businesses aiming to foster robust relationships with their clientele, enhancing brand visibility to drive revenue growth. This is so complicated, it's even hard to read. OK, now, now let's go to the fifth grade English level. Email marketing is sending super cool letters to your friends, but instead of you're sending emails to people who might like what your business offers, let's learn how to make these emails awesome. Can you see the difference? 
anyone can understand this language here. It's so much easier to understand. It's easier to read. When people are watching content online, they're not looking for rocket science type of content. They want to be entertained most of the time. And if you're using complicated language, you're just going to turn the viewers off and try to always make your content very dynamic. Always change the footage on the screen. Don't let the same footage or the same thing be happening on the screen the entire video because people nowadays, especially on TikTok, they have a very uh, short attention span. And if you put the same thing on the screen through the entire video, you're not changing what's going on. You're not changing the song, adding different animations, subtitles, maybe even gameplays on your videos. People are not going to watch the entire video and you're going to have less chances of going viral. Step number seven, how to get 10,000 followers really, really fast on TikTok. Like I said before, you're going to choose first the niche that you're going to be operating in. If you don't know what to choose at this point, I highly recommend that you either go with personal development or AI. Step number two, go to YouTube and you want to search for famous podcasts that you can download and cut them up in short form content to post to your TikTok account. Okay, so let's give, uh, let's, for example, do the Ro Joe Rogan experience. Once you're here, look for a podcast on the Joe Rogan experience that has a lot of views that you can download and repost to your TikTok account. So this one here has 58 million views and you can literally either download the ones that have the most amount of views because they're proven or you can download the most latest ones because these are the ones that people have not seen before. So it also has a big chance of going viral on the platform. So this one here was posted three days ago. Uh, you can literally download this and it has a two and a half hour podcast and you can make a lot of short form content on this podcast episode here. If you're using your phone, you can literally just open the, the podcast and you can screen record. You can screen record the parts that you want to turn into short form content to have the, the, the content on your phone. This is if you're using your own phone and you don't have access to a computer. If you have access to a computer, you can literally click here with the right you can copy the link address. You can go to the YouTube video downloader on Google. You can paste the link here and then you want to download the video. You can select 720p. That's enough. Not a problem. Now, once you have the footage downloaded to your computer, you're going to need access to a software called Riverside. Once you're here on Riverside, I want you to click here on upload and you want to upload the episode that you've just downloaded from YouTube. Once you upload the episode, then you need to let the platform cut this episode into multiple short form con pieces, content pieces that you can use. OK, so you want to open it. And here, if you scroll down, you're going to see magic clips. You're going to click here on generate magic clips. Once you click on generate clips, it's going to find the best moments using AI. So you have the most chances of going viral and it's going to do the entire work for you. So you don't have to do anything. All you need to do now is just wait. I highly recommend that you use Riverside to cut your videos, either if you're downloading funny videos or you're redownloading podcasts or any type of content that you're going to be redownloading. Use Riverside because it's going to use AI to define the best parts of the videos for you. So you have the most chances of going viral. The link for you to join Riverside is going to be down in the description below. And as you can see here, Riverside has just finished and it's created, I don't know, probably hundreds of short form clips that I can use. It literally created a lot of short form content that I can use. And if you click on it, you're going to be able to watch it. And as you can see here, it's Elon Musk speaking and it already has the subtitles like Riverside is just insane. If you want to grow your TikTok account really, really fast, this is the way to do it. And one thing that I recommend that you do as well, once you're done generating the magic clips, then you can just click these three dots here and you can export. You're done. You have several clips that you can post that literally will get you millions of views because these podcasts here from the Joe Rogan experience, they get millions of views. One thing that I can give you a pro tip as well, is go to YouTube and if you type in on YouTube GTA GT5 car gameplay or GTA 5 car gameplay you're gonna see all of these car gameplays here as well I recommend that you download some of these to keep people watching your video just download these videos and edit them into your short form clips this will help people watch the short form clips for some reason it's kind of silly I mean saying this because it's kind of ridiculous but this literally helps you have more average view duration to be able to edit these all you need to do is just download CapCut and then you can literally paste one on top of the other it's very very easy Again, this is how you get to 10,000 followers really, really fast. I literally found this video here from this kid that gets paid $20,000 a month from the TikTok creativity program by doing exactly what I just showed you how to do. And this is how he does it. He goes into his computer. And let me show you what the footage will look like. So he screens record. So he gets all of the footage that he needs. And then he goes to cap cut and he overlays one on top of the other to make the video exactly like what I've just showed you. And then you can just export the video from cap cut, go to your TikTok page and then post a video. This video here will also be included in a text file guide for you. Step eight in this video, how do you actually make $30,000 a month from the TikTok creativity program? Well, in the United States, the TikTok creativity program 
literally pays an average of a dollar per 1000 views. There isn't a difference between niches. So if you pick a difference, it's not like YouTube that if you make make money online content, for example, you're going to get paid a high amount of money per CPM. Then if you make like gaming content, you're going to get paid a lot less. It doesn't have this difference on TikTok from what I've known. So you can literally get paid from $1 to about $1.50 per 1000 views on TikTok, independent of the content that you're posting. For you to be able to reach those 10,000 followers, I highly recommend that you post at least five videos every single day. And if you're posting those five videos every single day, there are literally countless ways that you can achieve $30,000 a month. So for you to be able to make $30,000 a month at, at $1 per 1,000 views, you literally need 30 million views a month. If you get a viral TikTok, you're going to make 30 million views very quickly. But if you, let's say that you got a million views every single day, for you to be able to get a million views every single day from five videos that you're posting, you're going to need 200,000 views every single video. And if you do this, you can literally get there very, very fast. So five videos a day, each video gets 200,000 views. That's a million views a day, 30 million views a month or $30,000 a month. And there are literally countless ways that you can reach this. One video per month that gets to 30 million views, that's $30,000 a month. So there are literally countless maths that you can achieve to be able to make $30,000 a month. So I'm not gonna run you through all of them here. And this is exactly how all of these people that you're seeing on your screen right now are making crazy money with the TikTok creativity program. Now, I also know a secret way that you can keep pumping out these videos without you having to create the videos. I literally made a video here a few days ago on how you can create these faceless TikTok videos without having to make any videos from an app on your phone by using this prompt that you're seeing on your screen right now that I created for you. And you're going to find this in the text file down below. As you can see here, give me a prompt that I can use to create a TikTok video around 90 seconds for the niche. Just type in your niche here. I will use this prompt with an AI video creation software to create a video for my TikTok account. Remember, the video has to be in vertical format and then you can just copy copy and paste this, just change the niche here. And then the software will do the video for you. It will do all of the work for you. Okay. So if you want to watch that video, just click this video right here. I'll see you there. Work hard, play harder.